This is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, it came out a little while ago. In fact, my daughter has already completely won this game. Uh, but I'm a big fan of this franchise. In fact, I think I did uh, a few videos of the previous game, Rise of the, of the Tomb Raider. But uh, for some reason, I just sort of, when I first bought this game, I think I was in the middle of something else, and I didn't actually play it when it was new, and I just kept putting it off and putting it off, and now I realized it's been out for a long time, and I love these games, and I really wanted to get back into it. So this is about a quarter of the way into the game. Um, I'm about to assault, I believe assault, a Trinity compound, and I figured that was probably a pretty good time uh, to sort of dive in, because you know, attacking a base tends to be a pretty uh, straightforward thing that, uh, you know, kind of shows off how the game works, how the game looks, but I'm probably not... Ooh, what's going on? I probably won't be doing a whole lot of spoilers. That's the main thing I want to avoid if people want to play this game. When the recon team gets here, maybe they'll be able to tell us something. Okay, so this is the first time I've been introduced to the mud mechanic. As I cover myself in mud. One thing you'll notice is that I just obsessively hit her, like, survival vision button, or whatever whatever that's called. The thing that highlights all of the interactive objects in the, in the environment, I just turn it on constantly. Now, it fades out after a certain amount of time. Which means I just have, keep, have to keep hitting the button again and again and again. They do a pretty good. This is Commander oh. Rourke. Have you achieved lockdown? We're almost there. All access points are covered, and most of the barricades are finished. Almost isn't good enough. Secure the perimeter now, and make damn sure it's locked tight. Aye, sir. So uh, if I could ask, sir, uh, what's going on? Recon team is en route. Rourke out. How many guys went down there? <laughs> It's, the violence in this game is absolutely savage, which is, it's an interesting choice, right? Because you know, the original Tomb Raider, I mean, it, it came out in an era when you couldn't do super realistic violence. Um, everything was kind of cartoony just because that was what was possible back then. Um, and then the, the Tomb Raider games that Crystal Dynamics first did were also cartoony, like in, in, in the vibe of the previous games. Then they did the reboot. And... And they just decided to go super gritty and realistic with it. I mean, I'm not doing one of the like acrobatic challenges right now, but some of those things, if you fall into a pit of spikes, it's one of the most grotesque, violent moments I've ever seen in a video game. Uh, so, anyway, one thing they do really well is, you know, when I do click this button that reveals um, where stuff is, I mean, it's they they come up with a, a visual language that's really clear. You know, these are the gray is the stealth objects. The yellow is the you know things that you can loot and grab. They have red for traps, um, and they didn't have to explain any of that. It just was self-evident once I you know started using it. Oh, MPM points out that uh, yes, you're right. Uh, if I click the the survival vision button, uh, that's probably not what it's called. I forgot what it's called. Um, it does stay up indefinitely if I hold still, which is really nice actually because. So my problem is I'm just constantly moving, and so I just keep you know hitting it like a heartbeat basically while I'm moving around. But you're right that if I'm holding still, I can leave it up indefinitely and learn everything I want to learn, which is which is actually nice because it means you know if I don't want to have it up all the time, I can spend the time to memorize what's there, and then I can leave it off. Because um, that's sort of the constant struggle, right? You want to give the player the ability to notice things in the environment that the character would notice. You don't want them to be missing stuff that you feel like is really critical and obvious, or should be obvious to the character. Um, but at the same time, if you, highlight things, if you highlight things too obviously all the time, the game world looks fake, and it's distracting, and, and you don't get to enjoy like, the really beautiful, you know, the beautiful art that these artists created. And so you end, up, you end up having to figure out some weird way to, to balance both, to show the player all the information they need, and also not disrupt the art. So a, a common solution is, you know, to create, to create a vision mode that goes away after a certain amount of time, or a vision mode that is so restrictive um, that you really couldn't play in it all the time. Like I'm thinking of the um, 
the uh, listening mode in The Last of Us. Fucking place. Which you couldn't play in all the time because you're missing so much information when, when it's up. Okay, so I can sort of see a guy over there. Yeah, so, okay, so we got red is threats. Too so. structures in here. The sight lines are shit. But, so there's no, it looks like there's no really good hiding place between me and them. I don't understand how this could Oh, wait, no, I can go here. Shouldn't we send cool. someone down to look for them? Rourke was explicit. No search and rescue until the recon team gets here. But it's almost been an hour since last contact. The commander doesn't abandon his people. You better be back in a few minutes. Okay, so because I'm muddy, they couldn't see me that well. So I had a little bit of extra time, basically, to make sure I was hidden. Can I climb up this? What the hell's happening? <laughs> Absolutely savage. MPM says the survival vision staying on only temporarily kind of feels like the characters saw something in the corner of their eye at just the right time. Yeah, so yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's interesting how, you know, when you're making a game, you have to sort of, I mean, like, see, if you actually were a person in the situation who did have sort of the skills and the, and the talents and the instincts of Lara Croft, there are things that would occur just entirely in your brain that they're trying to represent visually okay. in the world. And, and trying to come up with. Wait for the recon team. Doesn't it seem a little weird to Ooh. you? There was a problem underground, but we're fortifying ourselves from a threat from over land. Seems pretty standard. If something did go wrong, we should assume it could be anything. We've got the temple covered too. I don't know, man. It still feels like we went from an amber alert in a known area to a red alert all over the place. We've been overreacting to things ever since that storm hit. But yeah, it's always interesting to try to sort of. Because each of us has got stuff like that, right? Things that go on in your brain that can't be represented visually in any way, but that leave you Great knowing problem. information you wouldn't yeah, have known otherwise. We got what we deserved. Figuring out the right way to sort of intuitively give that information to the player, let them be like the, the hero that they're playing um, psychologically without having it to seem really hokey Those can be... Good men are. They are good men. It's a challenge. Okay, so this what are my options bullshit. here? Someone's lying to us, and we might have lost some people already because of it. Calm down. If there was something we needed to know, we would have been told by now. And Rourke wouldn't lie to us. He wouldn't, but he's not in charge. Dominguez is calling the shots, and that shifty bastard's got a god complex. I don't trust him 100% either. But even though I've seen him stab locals in the back, I've never seen him cross one of us. Okay. Trying to see. So I, I obviously need to murder all of these men. The question is, can I, down there? can I do it one at a time? Obviously, somebody thinks they got attacked. By what? There's nothing down there. You sure? We were searching for something. Maybe they found it, and it wasn't what we thought. All right. So I actually unlocked with a skill point the ability to do that silently. You kind of can't do stealth crazy. takedowns at the very beginning. At least not really good ones. So I don't know if I can actually take both of these guys out uh, in any way. Oh, wait, no. The recon team will figure this out. There might be bottles around to throw to distract them. Oh, that looks like that's just a resource over there. Can I Those were good men. get they over are. here? They yes. are good All men. Right. There could be some distractions over on this side of the map. Oh yeah, there are, there are. Okay, so I just need to ambush this guy without being seen. Wall collapse, they went down too deep. All kinds of reasons for losing contact. Grab this bottle. Ooh. I hate this site. Like some creepy ghost town. 
I've got a Molotov now. Can I take both of those guys out at the same time with a Molotov? That's a question. Gotta be something fine. Oh wait, oh I can't carry the Molotov while I'm concealed that way? Interesting. You take point. You cover me. I'm really not sure why these guys got alarmed. Oh crap. Okay. I don't know what tipped them off exactly. Well, didn't last long. Jonah, Commander Walk is here in Peru. He ordered Trinity to lock down a dig site below an old oil well. You going to check it out? Yeah, I'll see what they found. Rourke was there in Cozumel when Dominguez took the dagger. They must have figured out the next step to the hidden city. Oh, MPM points out that actually uh, I didn't necessarily need a bottle. I could also have used an arrow shot to distract them. I had forgotten about that. Thanks for the reminder. Might be useful later. So they have these little hints that pop up. When you haven't done something for a while, they remind you that it's a thing. Because um, it's really easy to forget what exists in this game. There's a lot of options, and it's easy to forget, you know, that certain skills even even are things. There's been a bloodbath here. What happened? All full up. Can't carry any more. Oh, a map. Okay, so wait. I am here. It looks, oh, there's another document behind me. It looks like I missed a document somewhere else. That's one thing. I am a perfectionist when it comes to Tomb Raider games, and so if I miss a collectible, it drives me crazy until I get it. Problem is, I don't think I can backtrack from here. I think I might have to actually go back and get that document at some later time. Probably healthy, honestly. For me not to backtrack right at this moment. What is going on down here? Okay, so whichever way it says I'm supposed to go, start out by going the opposite way. That's how you get all the secrets. And, you know, I've listened to people talk about, um, you know, skills that you develop as a gamer that are just really not obvious to other people. Things like running left at the beginning of like a, of a side scroller, uh, you know, or, or what I just did, like, you know, finding out, okay, I hit a fork in the road, I find out which way is the real way to go, and then I immediately go the opposite way, because that's how you find secrets. That's a thing that everyone who's been playing games for their whole lives knows, but people who are brand new to games, which it would just not even occur to them to try that. But that's a fundamental skill really for this type of game if you want to get all the secrets. Jonah, I made it inside the temple. I think we found something here too. Some numbers. I'm gonna clear it off. Uh this looks like it could be dangerous. Oh, okay. Is this fire? Is this burning fuel down here? What the, wow, what the heck? Have to match the symbols. I have to match the symbols, huh? The numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Isha on the left, Shakshal on the right. Wait a minute. How do I... So, 
you get to select your difficulty in this game uh, along like three different axes. Uh, there's one where like, you set your combat difficulty, your puzzle difficulty, and your exploration difficulty, which basically determines how much information they give you and also how many sort of like second chances they give you and stuff when it comes to combat, like how, you know, how punishing it is to, to make a mistake in combat. And so the fact that she just said out loud what she's thinking the right direction for the puzzle is, that's because I selected normal puzzle difficulty. If I'd selected hard, I think she would just say nothing at all and I would just have to figure it out. And I think if I'd selected easy, uh, she would be saying more and just really guiding me through it. So the thing I don't open these doors. understand is what, what am I supposed to be matching these two exactly? That looks deadly. Let's not do that. I can't quite tell what it is I'm supposed to be matching these two. So I'm going to take that. So do I just have to match the symbol to the symbol above it? That doesn't seem very likely, right? Oh. What did I match that to? Do, is it just trial and error? Like I just turn it until it works? That doesn't seem like much of a puzzle. Maybe there's a more complex version of this later? I don't know. But at least I got through it. Okay. Is this a thing I can interact with? Alright, so maybe this is something I need to memorize or learn from. This is just information. Let's go see what the other one says. Oh, hello. Feels like it's like it's giving me the combination to a lock or something like that, but how is it supposed to? Wait, what? What? All right, so now I've got three of these. What does it mean? Okay, so it looks like I've got four, one, and three on the right side of that H. So let's nope, make it 4, 1, and 3 over here. Okay, if I'm right about this, then yeah, so they intentionally made these two columns easy to solve at first. It was just like you just do it with trial and error to get you used to how they work. And now they're making it a real puzzle where I have to do something more elaborate. But I already know how the pieces work. So I don't have to figure out. Th that's nice. So they don't make me figure out the mechanics and the big puzzle at the same time. They teach me the mechanics first, then I solve the big puzzle. So that says something not useful. Okay, so maybe my guess, I was guessing that maybe I needed to match this up to what I saw over there on the right, but see, it's three dog bowl, dog bowl. And this is three dog bowls, so let's grab the other dog bowl. I've decided that symbol is the dog bowl, by the way. Um, okay. Okay, I think I've just proven my theory wrong. Right? Unless... Wait a minute. I didn't just do this, did I? Has this always been open like this? Is this Another just... door. There must be more to this. <laughs> right? I'm feeling the same way. Damn, I should have known. 
symbol it's showing here that matters okay so now I've got four what does that mean okay so this one is three dog bowl dog bowl dog bowl so let's make that happen and then this one on the right Wait a minute, no. Is it this one on the right? Okay, so it it's missing the third one, but the bottom one is the flat line. Is that something I can do? Flat line, flat line, flat line. Did I go the wrong direction? Flat line. Okay, so... Yeah, so this is why this one's challenging, is because I don't know for sure if I've done this right. And I so so the so the original version of this puzzle was easy because as soon as I got it right, it immediately gave me feedback. But here, I have to take a flying leap believing I've gotten it right. But I can't be sure. So I walk across this, I push the button on the door, and hopefully it doesn't try to kill me. Okay, it worked. Hey Jonah, any progress? Ugh, another one? An a depiction of Shuck Shell. I have two dates here, and E Shell. I think I've seen the date on the left somewhere. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. Okay, what? The In photo the from Cozumel? Count calendar. All dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an 8? That's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. Okay, so... Okay, so I recognize that number on the left. I don't... I think the ones on the right look like numbers, though. But maybe... Maybe what it's saying is that number on the left is the answer. Like, do I have to put it... Where do I put, Do I just put it on both? Well, it's already... It's already the one at the top, though. Hold on a second. Yeah, so these these tiles here are blank. Okay, so yeah, so this is the artifact I was looking at before. Is there anything in these that's useful? This is the star Al Fard, the solitary one, the brightest star in the western sky in the heart of the Hydra constellation. Two thousand years ago it it's interesting that to find the hidden city go south I like that she has so much to say about these things it's like they're you know I mean you played like uncharted games and stuff where they just like you collect a bunch of artifacts and somebody some artist had to go make a bunch of things for you to look at and there wasn't much to them it's like the fact that she actually is making use of these in the story and has a lot to say about them is kind of neat it just adds a sense of depth to the game in the Maya long count calendar all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an 8? That's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. Okay, so I guess, I mean, the only information it's giving me is just that one, I guess that's a 13? The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. So I guess my guess is that I just need to put that symbol on the bottom of both columns. I'm just going to try that because I don't know what else to try. The photo 
from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. Okay, this one doesn't have that symbol. So nope. So that's not the answer. So this doesn't have any additional information on it that would be helpful for the bottom tile. No point in looking over here. Wish I knew what these two middle symbols meant. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe that's a clue. Okay, so I do get annoyed a little bit at Laura <laughs> when she um, insists on repeating the advice again and again. Like, I mean, yeah, I get it. I heard it the first time. In the Maya long count calendar. So what am I missing? Five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13. But what if it's really an 8? That's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star <laughs> path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. So Turvama says, uh, Now I remember why I don't join in during puzzle games. I'm getting Hellblade send you sacrifice flashbacks. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, I know it's not the most fun thing in the world to be watching me be confused by a puzzle. Um. Wait a minute, so could could those four big dots to the right of the number be the other number? Like maybe I'm supposed to do four dots with a line under it over here? Is that one of my options? Yeah, let, I mean, let's try this. I don't know. The photo from Cozumel. Okay. Maybe that's a clue. The fact that she's saying that makes me think I've got it wrong. Let's give it a try, though. No, 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 no. no. That was wrong. What am I missing? What don't I understand? Is this going to be really, really obvious once I see it? I just don't see it yet. Photo from Cosmo. Okay, I get it, Laura. I get it. I get it. In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13. But what if it's really an eight? That's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. What? Am I missing? Like, I've just... It was damaged to look like an 8? When it was really a 13? I wish I understood... Like, does a line mean 5 and so that's an 8? But... 2 lines means 13? Because each... Maybe, yeah, maybe the line is 5 and the dots are each 1. So the difference between an 8 and a 13 is having an additional line what does that tell me does that tell me something I can use Maybe here that's a clue so I've got this eight over here I don't have the ability to do an eight on this side but I also don't have the ability to do a 13 right unless hmm, no I don't know what the dog bowl the shape is supposed to mean. Cozumel. Maybe that's a clue. Oh my gosh, Laura. Give it a rest. Well, this is probably the most exciting video I've ever done. Oh, wait a minute. Are these supposed to... A photo from Cozumel. Maybe that's a clue. You just be quiet. A 13... Should I be making these add up to 13? It's got an 8 at the top. Are each of those dog bowls a 1? And so that would make it, what, 11? So I'd want a 2 down here to make it add up to 13? Do I have a 2? 
Okay, I've got a two. And if this is the photo from Cozumel, maybe there's a clue. Okay. Sorry to any children in the audience. Uh Okay, so we've got nine plus one is ten. And then three okay now that we're we're way above thirteen now on this side. Dang it. I don't know. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. I mean I could try to make a 13 that way with two lines under the three. I don't know what I'm doing. This is probably not it. Yep. That's not right. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe that's a clue. Okay, okay. I get it, Laura. There's a clue on there. It's not a very obvious In clue. Maya long count calendar. All dates it's have a five pretty... numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13. But what if it's really an 8? That's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. The Wait. last number on the left pillar is zero. The last number on the left pillar is zero? How? What? What is that? Okay, so she just gave me the answer, I guess. But... How was I supposed to... I don't understand how I'm supposed to... Oh! So those really faded symbols are actually those dog bowls. I didn't get that. I thought they were just faded things I couldn't read. Oh my gosh. Okay. The last number of the left pillar should be a zero. And those are zeros, not ones. Okay. Cool. Okay, just okay, right. Okay, Jonah. What's the final number for Shack Shell? A line across with two dots on top of it. Seven, I think. Thanks. I didn't know I had the left wrong. Okay. Two dots over it, huh? I mean, yeah. As I suspected, like, when I was looking at this, I was like, there's going to be something obvious about this that I'm just missing. In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This and now it seems obvious. Yeah, it's... 13. But what if it's really an eight? It's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a Shush, Lara. I hear position. you. Yes. So the star path would be Stop reading. You don't have to read it out loud every time. Okay, yeah. So now looking at this, I'm like, yeah, obviously it's three lines in a... <laughs> I mean, three dots in a line... And then four similar symbols. And for just for some reason, when I was looking at this with the three dots in the line and three similar symbols, it wasn't clicking in my head that that's what I was looking at in the picture. Well, I mean, t definitely to somebody who solved this before, watching me struggle with this was probably maddening <laughs> because it was so obvious after the fact. But at the time, I was just like, what am I looking at? I don't understand. <laughs> While I was doing that, MPM is like, I have a hint. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. <laughs> yes, I, I know. I know. All right, yeah. Trifama suggested that I could uh, I could edit this video to remove all of that deliberation. And I could. Uh, I feel like to get the real experience of this puzzle, y you kind of have to see that entire thing. Jonah. Hey, Lara. It's Abby. Oh, hey, Abby. I found a mural. It seems to depict some kind of journey. Entering through a jaguar mouth follows a serpent toward a silver eye. Uh-huh. On the way, there's a spider and an eagle that rises toward a temple. Okay, I don't know about most of that, but the jaguar mouth is back this way. Really? Yeah, cat sculpture, big teeth, 
Oh, here. He's back. Laura, you okay? Yeah, I'm heading back. Good. I think you're gonna like this. <laughs> Things to look at. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. Okay, yeah, so they got this one mechanic, which is really kind of interesting. You, uh, you interact with these, like, Stella that you find out in the, in the world, and each one you look at makes you better at reading that dialect, and then you'll find places where you need to use those skills to understand something to, like, unlock some secret knowledge. And so right there, I, uh, I didn't have the knowledge that I needed, but maybe, what if I get it here? Uh, that looks like... No, I probably did not get enough from that one. So I guess I'm going to have to come back through here later. This describes something oh. nearby. Two guardians have fangs. Two guardians have feet. One guardian has both to better protect me. Let's see here. Only guardians have fangs. One has feet. One has both to better protect me. So this one's got feet. This one's got fangs. This one has feet and fangs. So is there something hiding behind it, maybe? <gasps> there is! There this is! Would be useful. Okay, that was a pretty good one. I liked that. And honestly, the previous puzzle wasn't bad either. The, the thing that was annoying was the fact that she kept repeating the same line to me again and again. But once I did figure it out, it did seem obvious, and it was a really interesting way to find a solution to a puzzle. So I still like this game, even though I got frustrated back there. Use a rope arrow to kill and string up an enemy while on a branch? Okay, that seems useful. So yeah, these things get unlock new skills for you, which is super, super gamey, but I do not mind. I'm just gonna dive in here. Looks like it. I like that they have that move. That was a move that I used a lot in the uh, earlier Tomb Raider games. Oh, what? There's predators? Oh, those piranhas? audio there was kind of nice. Like this, that, that, the weird echo from being in that cave sounded really good. So they don't give you a breath meter, which is an interesting decision. They have your character start to react to not being able to breathe, but they don't actually give you like a bar, which is really unusual for this kind of game. I'm really accustomed to the idea that if I need to breathe, there will be a bar showing me how much. Really hoping there's some additional breath down here. Can I... 
Is there an air pocket up there, maybe? I should try holding my breath as long as Laura holds her breath. Then I might pass out. Oh, this is just a light source. And not an air source. Cool. How far back do I go now? So, uh, Turfama asks, you know, do I have hints turned off or am I playing with the default settings? I'm playing with the default settings. I'm playing with sort of norm in normal mode. Ah! Get off me. I, do I just not have a way to fight back? Once they're on me, that's it? I'm just dead? I just went a little bit too far out of those that seaweed. Okay, let's make sure I've got enough air. And then... This way. Let the fish go past me this time. And then, I mean, I'm assuming there must be some way for me to breathe down here, right? Oh, wait, that lower door. I hadn't even realized. I didn't even realize that was there. Probably a way. Yep, there's a place to breathe right over there. All right, should have caught that before. She has a lot of faith that there's a way out of this way. Like, if this was real, I would not believe there was a way to survive this. I would not even be attempting this. Holy crap. How deep underwater am I? Ugh. Oh, I remember this place. I think I was here earlier. Huh, didn't realize there was an exit to a whole dungeon down there. Hey! Jesus. Don't do that. Sorry. Anybody else make it? Fuck the final. Base camp. This is Omicron team. We've been ambushed. Base camp, come in. Abercrombie? Anything? Quiet. I need to hear. <laughs> Holy Christ. They're here. <laughs> Yes, I will. What are they so afraid of? So I like that I'm basically Batman now, and I can like string people up from gargoyles. Shit, I lost my radio in the crash. These guys have helmets. It makes me think that. Oh, what? What is that? What was that? Yeah, same question. Where's our backup? Reinforcements are on route. Then tell them to hurry, goddammit! Where am I trying to get? Oh, is there a thing I can pick up? Right here, cool. Stay back! I'm warning you! Stay the fuck away from me! Ah! Easy, calm down. Can you tell us what happened? All I saw. Claws. Teeth. They hit us. Just screaming. Bones. It's over. You're safe. We don't belong here. You okay now? Hmm. Can I get up here? I can still see them. It's all right. It's all good. <laughs> We 
We just need to wait it out until the just reinforcements arrive. Barely missed being caught by that guy. Of these dudes. Cause so that guy up there is gonna be a challenge. Is there they're on their way. Are these branches close enough? Over. To be able to get that guy with the helmet up there? Maybe I can just sneak up behind him. These things are hunting us. Not that way. Too long. It's messing with their heads. Okay, so I can't get that guy from the branch. What are we even looking for? I think I need to get this guy if I am going to try to be stealthy at all with anybody. Jungle creatures. I'll believe it when I see it. Molotovs. Where are they? Nobody's quite looking my direction. I'm not muddy though. I really ought to try to be muddy if I can. Christ, how much longer? I should have. Uh, let's see here. I can use an arrow to get somebody's attention, right? People have been in the jungle too long. It's messing with their heads. Okay, now that didn't actually make somebody come over here. Oh, oh, maybe it did. I feel like I might need to go loud. Let's see here. I think I've got a suppressed assault rifle. There's gotta be some rational explanation for what they saw. There's a guy over there, actually, on the opposite side who's... Separating himself from the group a little bit. Let me see if I can. They're on their way. It is almost over. All full up. Can't carry any more. What are these things? Christ. How much longer? Okay, so if this guy comes back. Oh, they can see me. Cool. Okay, so they don't know where I am. Somebody's being killed by a monster. What, where is that even happening? What are those creatures? Well, now that I've killed all the people near me, where am I supposed to go? Oh, looks like way there. Has to there. be a way out of here. Maybe in the direction they came from. Oh no, my controller batteries are low. Can I mud myself up? It doesn't look like I can. Oh 
bunch of dead people. God, bodies everywhere. The creatures killed them. But why? Jonah, Abby. Hey, Laura. I saw something. Trinity is being hunted by some Ooh. kind of creature. What? It made hissing sounds and moved so fast. Lara, that sounds like the legend of the fish taco. You the fish taco? No, I know what I saw. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm on my way back. Okay, I love that it's the legend of the fish taco, and uh, yeah, that's what it's going to be to me forever. I think I'm pretty close to where my friends are. Oh, but I can stop to upgrade my character. So I've been running out of space for resources, so I should spend some of these resources to upgrade some of these. So the main weapons I've been using are, oh, oh wait, is that a better bow? Ooh, charge cylinders can penetrate body armor and pass through unarmored targets to multiple enemies. So that is better than my current bow. So I'm going to use that one instead. doesn't do as much damage, but that's a really powerful thing if I'm fighting Trinity. So some of these weapons can't be upgraded. They're just really special. And so, but I want to spend some of my resources to upgrade these weapons so that I can collect more resources. Um, so maybe I'll upgrade the magazine capacity of this guy. And I mean, I'm using this. So I feel because I think that when you get the Game Pass version of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think you get kind of a special edition that unlocks a bunch of weapons and things for you. But that kind of means that you end up with these sort of like these overpowered weapons that don't need to be upgraded. And so my the upgrade economy gets a little bit undermined. At least I think that's what's going on. Because I've only ever played this version of it, I don't know that that's what's going on. But I, from the very first time I saw this weapons menu, I had so many weapons on it. It felt like it would, like I had extra stuff that I'm not supposed to have. I also unlocked a skill point. So let's see what I can spend it on. Okay, so that's just the automatically unlocked Eagle's Talon skill. I've got four skill points available, so I can actually get some pretty nice stuff. Um, assistance for aiming at a head. Reach full draw weight more quickly. Ooh, unlocks the next weapon upgrade level. That seems pretty valuable. So let's purchase that. And then... Ooh, two simultaneously locked... Okay, I'm going to save up for that one. That actually looks pretty useful for stealth. Um, so I can shoot two enemies at once. But now that I've unlocked the last, uh, or the next upgrade level, I think that means, yeah, I've got more upgrades for my favorite pistols. So let's craft those and blast through a bunch of my resources. So now this gun is ridiculous, which is great. And let's see here. I can't afford one of the upgrades to that one. Okay, I think we're good on the upgrades. So let's head over and see what my friends are up to. Wait. Yes, that is the right way to go. Some of this mod, I think, is here to slow me down so that I don't hit any streaming barriers. Did I miss something? Where am I going? It's over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Inside this giant door. Jonah? We're downstairs. Wait, downstairs? Oh, here. Have you been down there? We were waiting for you. What do you think we'll find? The mural showed a series of trials. Series of trials.
I thought it, I thought it just killed her friends. I may know another way around. Okay, I'll go ahead and meet you on the other side. <laughs> I thought I'd gotten them killed. Okay, actually, you know what? It's getting really late at night, and this feels like it's probably a pretty good stopping point. Uh, so I'm just going to hit pause right here and uh, and start to wrap this up. So that is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, I really like it so far. I've been going through and trying to get every single collectible and like maximize everything um, because that's just the way I play these games. But it, this actually, it has a lot to offer in that regard. There's just a lot of, um, you know, different ways to explore the environment lots of like each little thing that i do feels like it reveals more of sort of the the depth and texture of this game uh and then on top of that you know sort of the the the, the acting and the cinematic aspects of it the storytelling is really good and uh and i even enjoy the combat it's like this game has so much going for it um this is actually a really good game i think for me to um to to get myself psyched up for when the last of us 2 comes out in a couple of weeks uh because it is it's one of the few games that i feel like is is kind of close to the caliber of the last of us so anyway that is shadow of the tomb raider so i'm going to continue playing this game on my own uh but there's the video for you